everyone, it's Lisa Twyla's mom. Ah, we're in a different spot today for question of the week. Uh, my husband fell asleep downstairs <laughs> and uh, watching football or something. But anyway, no, he was just watching ESPN. The football game is not until noon. So, <coughs> excuse me, everybody. Let's get take a sip. So I'm upstairs in my little half bath. Yeah, my bathroom. <laughs> And oh, the lighting's a little off, and the sound may be a little off, but that's okay. We'll get through it. So, I, oh, I had a difficult time this week with coming up with a question of the week. And then it dawned on me, why not ask a question about our childhoods? And um, I was thinking back of things that I learned or did as a child that I no longer do. And uh, the first thing that came to my mind was I used to play the piano. I did. I did. I took piano lessons from the age of I think I was around seven until I was 16. Um, did pretty good. I oh, I could play Beethoven, Mozart, um, Chopin, um, all of the classic classical musics. My piano teacher was not very modern. She enjoyed the classical music. <laughs> I used to live for Christmas time because then I would get to learn to play something else besides a boring classical piece. <laughs> But I think I did pretty good. Um, I continued to play the piano until I was in my early 20s. And then I moved away from my grandmother, out of state and everything. Because my grandmother owned the piano. My parents didn't own a piano. But I was fortunate enough that I lived oh, I have maybe a quarter of a mile from my grandma. And it was, it may not have even been that far because me and my sister walked to my grandma's house every day to practice the piano. Um, we didn't live in a house big enough for a piano. But, um, and then every Saturday my mom would take us to piano lessons. Every Saturday morning she would drop us off while she went grocery shopping and there you go. So, and then sometimes for some reason, when school started or something, one year we had to switch to in the middle of the week and my grandmother had to start taking us because mom was working. But anyway, and I remember it cost one dollar. One dollar for a half hour. Oh, I know! These days it probably cost you thirty dollars, forty dollars, probably higher for, you know, lessons in the private sector. Um, but that, that kind of piqued my interest of how many of you guys, when you were a child, learned how to play an instrument and uh, you no longer do it. And if somebody sat you down with that instrument, could you just pick it up and do it? See, I couldn't do it. You know why? Because I learned how to do, um, play the piano by reading the music. I didn't learn it through ear. If I'd learned it through ear, I probably could do it. I think people who learn how to play a musical instrument through their, you know, with ear, they tend to hang on to that, that knowledge of how to do it. I had to, I, my piano teacher didn't believe in that. She wanted you to read the music. Um, she didn't want you to do it by ear. It was the music. So, it, it, it just wasn't a skill that I continued to, to do. And plus, I became a mama and, you know, trying to take care of three little boys at that time when I finally quit trying to keep up with it. Oh, it was hard. It was hard. So, I just gave it up. But... I, yeah, if I sat down at a piano today with a piece of sheet music, I don't think I could play it. 
I know I couldn't. I know I couldn't do it. So, yeah, I guess that's question of the week this week. Did you guys learn a musical instrument when you were a kid? Did you continue with it as an adult? And, or if you didn't, you know, did you stop doing it when, once you grew up? You know what I'm saying? You know, what? Yeah. I mean, like, who was it? Uh, Twyla. She tried the clarinet, didn't like it. And this was part of school. Now you can do this in school. But she tried the clarinet, hated it. You know, just, I made her stick it out until the end of the school year. She didn't like it. Uh, Marshall, though, on the other hand. Oh, my gosh. He played the baritone. Ugh. That thing, he might as well play the tuba. Because it was huge. Huge, I tell you. Huge. And um, he did that for two years in middle school. I think he did pretty good. Um, he seemed to enjoy it and everything like that. But when he got in high school, he was all about the ROTC and didn't want to, you know, pretty much didn't. He played the freshman year in football, but the ROTC, he, J, J ROTC, that just kind of took over his high school life and forward on into his army, his few years in the army until he got hurt. Um, but none of my other boys, the older three boys, they, they never wanted to do a musical instrument. But I enjoyed the piano when I was a kid. I really, really did. I enjoyed playing the piano. And um, it doesn't really make me sad that I didn't keep up with it. But it doesn't really... It kind of makes me upset with myself. Here I wasted my mom's money a dollar every week and that was two dollars because my sister did it too and she didn't keep up with it in fact when I quit she quit <laughs> I think she really didn't care for it <laughs> but I wasted my mom's dollar every single week I wasted you know two hours of my weekend and her weekend to go and do this I enjoyed it. I really, really did. I, I especially liked it when, because I went to a tiny little school, grade school, middle school, high school, tiny little rural school. And I just thought I was so special because at music class, I could ask my music teacher, you know, hey, can I play this? And I knew how to play it, you know, and she would let me get up there and play a song that everybody was singing to. So I really felt special that way and stuff like that, but it, it kind of upsets me that I wasted all of that talent. Well, not talent. It, I was never going to be able to make a career out of it. I wasn't, you know, like some concert pianist or anything like that, but you know, I could hold my own. You know, I could I could have played for church and I could have, you know done something like that if I'd kept up with it yeah so it kind of upsets me that I didn't do that um so yeah it's just do you guys have something like that when I mean did you learn to play a musical instrument when you were a kid and you just didn't keep up with it you know or you hated it so much you couldn't wait to get rid of it you know and I think that was my sister. I think she just couldn't get, you know, get rid of it fast enough. But now me, I, I liked it. And, you know, I, I'll tell you why I quit. I got a job. Mm-hmm. I got a job. And um, it was a job, I think it was like at a little restaurant, like, drive through thing. It was in my little town. It didn't stay open very long. <laughs> but I had to work on Saturdays. And through the week, we um, had basketball games and volleyball and all that. So my piano lessons had to go back to Saturdays. I remember that. Um, 
but I wanted that money. I wanted that money, and I told myself, you know what? You know, I'll ju I'll just go ahead and quit. I'll come back to it if you know if I can during the summer or something. I never did. Never did. Um, yeah, I think the only one who was really upset about it was my piano teacher. Mm -hmm. She just told me, she said, if, I remember her vividly telling me, do not come back to me when you are an adult. Because it'll be like teaching a little kid all over again. Um, and I told myself, I'm never coming back, lady. <laughs> And I didn't, and I feel really bad about that. I really, really do. I, I was like, uh, but my mom, she was like, oh, that's fine, honey. I understand, you know, and things like that. Um, my grandma, I think, was more upset when we quit taking piano lessons because we no longer went down there every day. <laughs> we no longer had a reason to go to grandma's every single day to practice piano. Um, and the piano just kind of sat. Yeah, nobody else played it. Nobody else. Yeah, so. And you know, my grandmother owned that same piano <sighs> until the day that um, she moved into senior housing. Yeah, you know, senior housing where they live on their own, but they're not assisted housing yet. Um, it's, a, it's like living in a duplex, a smaller home that seniors can take care of. Excuse me. Because uh, she lived in the country on a farm, you know, and it was to the point she couldn't take care of a farm any longer. So whenever she sold the farm, moved into town into the senior housing, you know, that's when the piano uh, went somewhere else. Um, but, yeah. That's the question of the week. Did you guys play a musical instrument when you were a kid? And do you still play? Or are you like me? You, you just kind of quit and just never was able to get back to it? Or did you not play a musical instrument? You know, discuss down below. Yeah, you know how my questions are. I don't really... You know, I try to ask the question and then I kind of branch out in my own discussion. <laughs> so I'm going to get off of here, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know, I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.